right, I'd say second day with this vehicle. A um, little better look at this thing. It's missing the lower lip. Uh, FRS wheels, the paint's not that good. The door trim is all fucked. Um, nothing too bad. I'm just gotta finish or wipe off taillights, I guess. Carbon blue though. A little bit of damage, nothing crazy. Um, fender's all messed up. <sighs> Sad man. Gotta save these dragons. Yeah, <laughs> the interior is like pretty gross. Uh, I also have a new console trim. I'm gonna see if I can get a single DIN installed or see what see what's up with that. Uh, yeah, I have a new fender and privacy cover as well for the rear, since the interior is pretty much complete minus a sports pedal. Uh, I got a few goodies from the junkyard for the vehicle. As you guys can see, he posted up on my lawn. Celica floor mat and let's see, new carpet. You know, fresh, not ripped up and moldy. The new door trim handle, carbon blue as well. OEM alarm system, so everything. So we have the main harness that goes underneath the dash, the beeper that goes inside the engine bay, and then the actual key security system. I also have some key fobs. And there's the actual VIP alarm system. There's a missing pedal, and then some trunk struts, which these ones are out. So I have the entire vehicle. I guess missing or broken pieces combined and then as you guys know here's the engine that's supposed to go inside this 2zz i mean uh this what am i talking about this mr2 right here this 2zz is supposed to go inside this mr2 um but you know oh well uh i'm gonna save a dragon man you know but yeah uh today i'm gonna finish up all the you know aesthetic part parts of the vehicle and then I'm guessing tomorrow night or tonight I'll be rolling it into the garage and start pulling the motor. This one, either Friday or tomorrow night, I'm going to be pressure washing it and then doing all the gaskets from top to bottom. So I'm talking uh, valve cover, timing chain, the whole shebang, man. Rear main seal. But yeah, car apparently has a really good clutch on it or a brand new one. So we're going to see how much... It's true that is. He, he apparently had it on uh, under like 100 miles before he blew up the engine. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, let's get started. Start ripping apart the interior. Get this carpet in. I'm going to clean it up real quick. And then install the al OEM alarm system. Because it has to, like four different keys for each key, key cylinder. It's very, very annoying. So, yeah. All right. I have all the interior out after about like 10 minutes. Uh, yeah. Some weird amp wires and stuff, so I don't know what that hooked, that's hooked up to because there is no more amps in this vehicle. Uh, there's all the interior. Just gotta remove this little door sill real quick, and then um, yeah, just start on the OEM alarm system install. See, Best already has a video on it, it's very simple, so I'm gonna do that real quick and then uh, just keep chugging along. And then I'll move on to doing the seats or um, undoing the seats and then putting in the new carpet. Uh, other than that. It's just a door handle and trunk struts, so. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Uh, oh, what the hell's wrong with you, dude? Hey. What's wrong? Dude, look at all these ants. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Why'd Did you, you see react this? that? Nah, Ch quit changing the subject. Why'd you react like that? I was like, what the fuck? Who the fuck is leaning on my damn door? Why'd you react like that? I was like, what the fuck? I thought you were one or someone. Oh, buck yeah. Dude, there's like ants all up in this car. What a buck yeah. Oh, my God. No way. Y'all leave. <sighs> what a bucket. Catch. I can't. I don't have open hands. <sighs> oh! 
Oh, what the fuck's wrong with the coil pack? That's what I said. <laughs> it won't go in? Oh, what the fuck did he do? Ah. Look at the threads. What threads? Oh my god. Dude, look at all that speaker wire. Oh my god. Guys. Continuing on day two since I ran out of time the other day. Let's see. Yeah, this engine's kind of fucked. If you guys can see this, came for the coil pack in there. It's all warped, sadly. But yeah, there's the replacement one. Um, I'm gonna be replacing this today. The fender and probably putting on the bottom lip, all the other stuff. But yeah, I gotta finish up this wiring. Pull out all those old amp wires and stuff. It's not too bad. And then I'm gonna replace the carpet. So shouldn't be too bad um so yeah i already got the left side done over here i have it to the starter piece right here so now it's just the middle piece conglomerate and then this end goes on the i guess over there towards the passenger side so i'm going to be doing that real quick just keep chugging along so finish this replace the carpet and then i guess clean up the interior just a little bit more maybe spray that down because that's gross but yeah um, and then I'm gonna put it in the garage a little bit later and start the engine swap process. So, pull that motor out today. Probably just as far as I'm gonna go because I'm kind of tired. But yeah, let's get this thing done. Okay, so I removed the seats right now. Um, removing this carpet, it's not that hard. Very, very easy. There's like ants all up in this car, too. Like, what the hell? So, let me see what the problem with that is. Yeah, so I'm gonna replace the carpet real quick. Get all this gross shit out of here. Probably move all those amp wires if I can. And uh, yeah, I got the VIP alarm system set up. It's, I believe the key remotes are just dead on me because I just couldn't get a reading. I'm gonna put it into programming mode, so we'll see what's up with that. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna change out this carpet and then vacuum it up underneath to make sure it looks really nice. You know, wash it, maybe just a tiny bit with like some uh, soap and some hand towels and stuff like that, so. Nice and set up. Yeah. Um, looking gross. Let's get this thing changed. All right, I got everything out. It's fucking gross, dude. It's nasty. All these ants and shit. Oh, fuck. It's like an ant colony living in here. It's whatever, I'll clean it up. All right, lots of change. I'm gonna collect all that. Uh, remove all these amp wires as I'm at it. So, let's get to it. All right, I vacuumed this up a little bit, cleaned it up. Um, not the best looking, but it'll do. Um, I guess working on cars is get you paid. I don't know how much that is, and there's still some more stuck on the carpet. Most of the stuff I'm cleaned underneath as well. But yeah. Um, put in the new carpet in a second, and then I'll just, I don't know, keep vacuuming and get this thing more cleaned up. I got all the ants out, so that's nice. But yeah, working on cars get you paid, man. What about the ant right now? All right, got the new carpet right here. I'm gonna vacuum it up with my, you know, awesome Milwaukee M18 pack out shop vac. Um, take me like five minutes. Throw, throw that thing in and then uh, put back in the seats and everything. And then I'll worry about the rest of the interior later. Cause I still need to do some diagnostics on some of the wiring. Maybe try to get that sock radio installed. And then worst comes to worst, I may install like a black interior. So I might just redo the dash harness like uh, the last vehicle I did. I guess we'll see how it goes. But yeah, um, let's get vacuuming and install this carpet. Man, what a world of difference this made, dude. Look at this. Freaking clean. Uh, there's still like a little bit of pieces I gotta vacuum up. So just to install it for now, I'm gonna be detailing the car after I follow the swap. Uh, but yeah, look, got the entire carpet in. Looks pretty good. Got little clips in and everything. Just gotta finish up this side. 
by putting on a little the what is that the clutch pedal rest I guess and then the little clip that goes against the the HVAC assembly kind of I don't really know how to describe it but yeah everything's done I got the black carpet in looks pretty good way better than last time and this car is like finally starting to turn or look a little bit better than what it was but yeah other than that I gotta do some detailing on the interior and uh yeah that's not too bad just gotta clean it up as you can see but I have all the interior pieces as well but yeah I think I'm gonna be installing the seat right now just making sure everything's clamped down and then uh, probably change the 